Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Do this it. time we better get this right. Do it right. This... No, what you don't? What? You did that on purpose. No. You did that on purpose. Okay, well, I'm I'm really that incompetent. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> um, in the last one we tried uh, to do that and we failed again. Again. God damn it. But oh, off screen, Jake did some backtracking and he found himself a life shroom. Very helpful. Yeah. But uh, from how much HP it gives you, it'll serve one purpose to you right now. So if you die, yeah, assuming, it'll revive you. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty helpful pretty much how it is in the other games but if you do it wrong this time i'm taking the controller from you and i'm gonna do it okay <laughs> because we need to get a move on yeah there you go there okay. we That's go all, it's all about the momentum with the paper airplane yeah as long as you figure that tanks out. not used to just yet i tried playing with your controller that analog stick is really weird like <laughs> is it weird i don't it's like you might be used to it but like it is not normal i'll tell you that much all right that's the key maybe you can use it upstairs Oh wow, it does go up, but uh, oh. not that much further. <laughs> is there anything down there? Have you been in this room before? I no. think you have. This the, no, this is the first time. This is where we left off last week. Alright, try going upstairs first. See if there's any locks you can use that key you just got for. Okay. Oh, look, oh, shine there. block. Woo! You got more shine sprites. Shine bright like I, a diamond. I don't know how many shine sprites it costs to upgrade your partners for the first time, but I'm sure it's not that much. I think by the time you go back to Rogueport again, you'll have enough to upgrade one partner. Yeah, as long as I get most of them. Okay. Oh, yep. You're getting to the later parts of this um, castle. Should I go back and see if there's anything down there? Or are you sure it's death? Okay. Um, I'm sure there's not gonna. You're not gonna find much down there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it, ooh, tar you know what I think it is? I think it's a room we've been to before, but we couldn't go up any further. That's what I think. Oh, it is. so yeah. it's like it's worth checking out. Because that yellow block looks on. very familiar. But yeah, now you're on like the bridge parts of this castle. This is the ones I remember the most because they were more interesting the bridge, than the, the bridge. The bridge, <laughs> bridge, the bridge, the bridge, the bridge, the bridge, the bridge, the bridge. I don't want to do the rest. Yeah, that's enough bridge for one day. Bridge, 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 bridge. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't defend when Coops is upside down like that. It still kind of bugs me that you haven't tattled the regular Goombas yet, but you never really need to. I'm pretty sure you'll find them in Frankly's trash can, though. Yeah. They're just Goombas. Is it? It's, it's supposed to be like he has textbook pages or something. Yeah, and like he just threw them out. And I, um, just the way it works, really, just to think of it simply, is that if you missed enemies, there is a chance you'll find them in that trash bin, but don't rely on it too much. Like, if you have the chance to tattle, I say do it. You know, but you don't need to tattle everything in this game. I would say bosses are a must, though. Yeah. Always tattle. Uh, always tattle boss. That's Goombella's main use for me in this game. Like, I never used her as a battle partner. Like, as soon as I got Coops, I never used Goombella oh, no, in battle I, again. I feel like that's the way it is for everybody. At least for me, that's the same thing I did. Like, Coops is not my favorite partner in the game, but he is certainly one of the most hey, helpful. Hey, I pulled off my first stylish. Like, some of the moves he gets later in the game are very helpful, but, um... Yeah, that's what Merlon comes in for. You, your partners don't get new moves until you use the, um, Shine Sprites on them. So if you want to see what other moves they can learn, I say do it. Oh, you did a stylish thing. I did two stylishes. Yeah, I I decided to show it to him off screen instead of actually showing it in video because it's easier to show than tell. Well, I got a stylish, but it's fucked up. That, you did the timing right that time. If you press A when he stood up, he would have done a little pose. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, if you press A, he spins slowly, and I mean, then you press A when he stops spinning. That was the first one I did. I said, like, hey, I got a stylish. Yeah, so, you did it well. Yay. Oh, oh crap, you're paralyzed now. Well, it's a good thing he has one more health. Oh, wait! No, you're not paralyzed. If they touch you, they take damage. Oh. That's helpful. That's well, good. Too bad that I'm, all, I'm gonna eliminate him. Yeah, that was kind of pointless. That's actually very good, though. If you were, if that was in the beginning of the fight, that would have been great. Yeah. But, nope. Hey, you got like eight star points, though. Nice. This bridge is vast, though. I think there's a lot of enemies on it. Alright, I guess I'll be doing a lot of stylish stuff if I can. The more practice I get on that, the better. Yeah, this castle is a lot bigger when you're in it than it looked on the outside. The castle looked pretty small when you first saw it. Yeah, well, paper always looks small with their science suit. <laughs> ah, yeah. oh, damn it. It's alright. They're kind of up there, so the timing is a little weird if you try and do the multi-bounce on them. Yeah. Okay, shit. If you take... Oh, wow, there's the close call coming in close. But you, you are very right, low on health right now. You can use Sweet Treat instead of using your healing items. 
If you use Sweet Treat, then the stylish points will become a lot more helpful. All right. Do it. You remember how to do it, right? Til no. Okay, the, oh, the yeah, arrow yeah. bounces, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you press left on the analog stick. I don't fall. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, if you got that poison mushroom, <laughs> I'm gonna get so bad. Oh! Jeez! <laughs> yeah, this move's just helpful for this. But, like, once you get the Crystal Star moves, they're mainly attack ones, or stat buffs. Okay. They're, like, really cool special moves. Alright, sweet. That got you up, and now you can use the stylish stuff, or just make the audience happy. There are multiple ways, but not off the top of my head, I can't really tell you right now. There you go. Nice. Oh, double style. I got two mushrooms. Right oh, now you might be able to get the roulette. Sometimes, that doesn't really work out that easy. It's not one of those cheap roulettes where it's like almost always guaranteed a third one. Like it's an actual one. It's not like gimped or anything. Ah! If you haven't gotten it so far, mm. I'm waiting for the day where you, you just have a happy cheer. Someday. <laughs> These Paragoombas, man, are annoying. They come in packs, they're hard to get off the floor, and they do a lot of damage too. Alright, I, I need to really be in the best thing and try and get these guys out. The multi bounce would be really good if you pull if it off I can successfully. Get it. Yeah. Damn. You press A2 early. Ah, it's alright. You got him off the air, that's good. Now Coop's gonna attack him. Yeah, maybe for the next few enemies on the bridge, skip them. Because these aren't the Dole Bones, these are just straight up Paragoombas. Or Koopas. Damn it, I still get the name wrong. There you go. Mario's in danger, but I think you can get them down before they kill you. Just make sure you get the action commands right when you're defending from Mario. That way he has a slower chance of dying. That was only FP, though. Yeah. Uh-oh, one more hit? Okay, you have one HP left. You need to use a mushroom. Okay, yeah. You can always use a dizzy dial on these guys. Nah, that would be a waste. Never mind. Oh, you what? got a super shroom! An audience member threw it at you. I did not even see that. Uh, I should probably save the super shroom for the boss battle. No, it, it heals 10 of your HP. Use it on Mario. You have 20 HP. Okay. Oh, wow. This audience really loves you, dude. Guess I'm put No! <laughs> They're throwing all this stuff at me. It's throwing me off. All right. There, now you have 11 okay. HP. You'll be fine for a while. And don't worry, there's a heal block before the boss. My dick is happy. <laughs> oh. Life shroom! Dude, I've never gotten the audience to throw this many shit at me. Fuck you, Jake. <laughs> What can I say? I'm a natural. I don't know, I lost the word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a natural. Yeah, there you're we just go. Just a natural. Yeah, you're... Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, God. I guess he's scared of your kindness. Oh. Oh, never mind. He's helping you. Sweet. This is going on a lot longer than I thought it would, though. But like no, I said, it's pretty fancy. But Jake, before bosses, you usually get a heal block, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Like you were saying, I should use it on the boss. You'll have full health when you fight the boss. Yeah, but he's. All right, I forgot what it was supposed to be. No, I... yeah, it's just that it's useful to have it, so that way it's like if I'm about to die, but then I gotta have two life streams now, so. Oh, yeah, you do. That's actually very good. So you shouldn't have to worry about healing too much, but your FP. Yeah. You have a lot of those honey jars, so I think you're fine on that. You haven't used any of them, but you got a lot of them. Nice. And I think you got a full bar now. Yep, you do. Alright, now let's skip the rest of the enemies. Let's get past this bridge. Alright. Oh, wait, there's no more enemies. Wow. Oh. Wow, we're already almost at the end. Holy Sh shit. Should we just see if we can take on Hooktail before um, make this one a special or something? You know what? I don't think we're going to reach Hooktail just yet. Mm. I'm not sure if this is the final tower. I think it is, though. If it is, we're fighting Hooktail in this episode. Sweet. It's going to be longer. <laughs> okay. okay, yep, this is what I was expecting. There's. It's, it's not the final tower? No, there's more to Should it. Should we um, just run? I Yeah, there's a lot of enemies here. You're going to just lose a few coins. You don't drop items. Yeah. All right, yeah, get away from that spiky Goomba. It's funny, because it's only a... Oh, this is the top! Oh. We are going to fight Hooktail. Hey, first boss fight. Let's you think we're ready for this? No. <laughs> you think we should fight that guy back there, get a few star points? Am I close to level? 74. There was four enemies when you fought that guy. Maybe. I mean, it's just Goombas. They, they'll they give you like one star point. Yeah, I don't know. they won't give me enough. You know what? You, you already have the cricket noise activated. I say let's go for the boss fight in this episode. Yeah, going for the kill. Doing it for a thrill. 
This may, if we die though, it's fine. We already saved it. Yeah. Uh, you want to do the voice of Hooktail? Hooktail's a female. Alright. Hooktail's approach me! <laughs> There's the dragon. Ah! <laughs> mm. So, you are friends of the strange girl. Okay, if you're gonna read it this One. slow, I say okay, we just. Liar, liar. <laughs> I didn't expect that us to tell treasure to protect such rashness. <laughs> but I was foolish, I feared. Do you really think I'm gonna feed me? But you're so small, I don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. The mouth of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. Like some herbs and some parmesan and some like the queenie. But the way I this stuff that I press me because I'm gonna get down your head first. The point is, it's a dragon, it's gonna eat you. Now you need to fight it. Yeah. But it's a good thing you already have that item equipped. We found Oh shit, I should have I should have put on Goom. It doesn't take up a turn if you switch your partner, so don't worry. So if you switched your partner in the first turn, you can still tattle. Okay. Can I switch uh, can I switch it with him and then I'll still be able to use Gumbella or yeah. do I have to switch it with Mario? No, you um okay. You switch partners on Koops' this turn, you can still attack with Mario. So you can use Gumbella okay. to tattle. We'll get the tattle lock down. To attack with Mario. There you go. Uh, you can attack the foot, or you can jump on the on the face. I think it still has the same health, no matter which one you attack. So hit him in the toes, and it does the cricket sounds too. Yeah, for some reason, Hooktail really hates crickets. Oh wait, that's why. I hate them. Ah, fire hooky. Just hearing a cricket sure makes it feel woozy. I think I should have done the voice. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay, you did pretty well in defending that one. So I would say... Use hammer on him and use Gumbella to hit the head? No, use Gumbella to tattle. Oh, right. Yeah. Because then you can switch back to Koops in the turn after. Because Gumbella would not be good on this fight, but Koops would. That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It'll stomp and munch on you, and has much more dragonish attack, stinky fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing. It'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. It hates things that start with Kerr and end with Ikit. Why is it like a common <laughs> thing? Supposedly, there's something related to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? Yes, we did. We did very well. Tail has less health than I thought. So next turn, switch in Koops. And Mario's doing most of the damage on this fight, but it's fine. Koops' uh, shell toss will do a good amount of damage on Hooktail's foot. <laughs> Yeah, if you didn't have the cricket thing, oh. oh, that's good actually. But if you didn't, oh. if you didn't have the cricket thing equipped, Hooktail would be doing a lot more attacks against you. But since you do have it equipped, Hooktail only does like one attack per turn because it's kind of like Ugh, crickets or cur ickets, according to this game. Yeah. There you go. Swap to Koops. And now, you, oh yeah, you already have full FP, so it's good. You can use the power smash, get more damage down. Ah, oh, my foot's falling asleep again. Not I, again. I'm already out. Yeah. <laughs> Getting flashbacks of the last episode. Flashbacks from Nam. Ah. From the war. Are you from the war? There it goes. Power toss. I mean, wait, no, that's regular shell. Never mind. What do you have to say on this boss fight? Easy, but it's a decent, good first battle. Or first boss. Oh, I let it go early. Oh, I'll still do damage. Ooh, nice. Background fell. Okay. Got an extra little hit on him. You haven't been taking that much damage on this fight, too. Well, what happened there? I I'm, I don't know, but I'm not going to question it. That... Does Koops have, like, mega defense or something? What the fuck? You didn't even defend against that, and it did zero damage on you. Maybe Hooktail missed. Let's take him out. Wait a minute. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. At least take out first form, because he said something about trying to play all, like, kill him, hurt me. I give up, please. I won't be so. Oh. I won't be so bad anymore. I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you a thousand coins. What do you say? Can you give me? Keep your coins, fiend. What? I was joking. You don't need any coins. Then how about the lovely rare extra special badge I have? I'll give that to you. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Keep it, you cad. Nope. <laughs> uh, really? Well, I suppose I could give an apology by letting you smell the bottom of my feet. People pay good money to do that. 
You do chose this the wrong being voice completely for this honest right now. I can really. sound like that's painful. Not really. Yeah. So <laughs> care to take the whip of the rich? That's disgusting. No. Just keep saying. Nah! You aren't very trusting. That alarms you. It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Uh, I guess I'll die better. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. What's he gonna do? He's gonna heal by eating the audience. And now you can't get any stylish bars, but it's fine. All you have is sweet treat. This is not right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the proper reaction. <laughs> but yep, that's basically, you only got 10 health left, so just keep attacking Hooktail, you'll eventually beat it. There you go. And now you're fighting down here. I like this. It's like a perspective switch. It's pretty cool. There you go. Nice! And that's what the thing said, too. It said nice. You did a good job. Yeah. Okay, that's your last FP. Fuck it. All right. Biscuit for the biscuit! And it, oh, wow. You missed the timing, too. I got the stylish, though. You got the stylish, but your bar's already full. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hooktail's getting tired of hearing that cricket. It really is helpful in this fight. Like, if you didn't get that before... So it, it did again. Maybe... Maybe, maybe the cricket's forget. making it weaker. I didn't know that, but like with the original fight, if you didn't have the cricket sound equipped, Hooktail would do like three attacks per turn. Oh so, damn! Yeah, you you really got off easy on this one because I was being so helpful for you. It would have been end, it would have ended bad. But we're almost done here. We can get our first crystal star and call it a chapter. Yeah. But we are gonna go a lot more overtime in this one. <laughs> Clearly. Are we already over? Uh, well, you said 15 to 20 minutes. It's 16 right now. Oh, okay. But, but I, I, <laughs> how, why, there's still so much I wanted to do with my life, so many meals. I went back for the... Look at all those star points. Hey. We leveled up. Hey. Yeah. We had just enough, too. All right, what are you going to get up this time? I feel like I should be doing BP because I haven't done it yet, but I still haven't had enough badges for it to be worth it. Eh, screw it, I'll probably run into some more. Do BP, go for it. Yeah. Because three is definitely not enough. Yeah. We haven't run into that many badges, but... We will soon, yes. since the first chapter's over now. Right. And that's it. That's Hooktail Castle. Wow, we, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Now all we have to do is find the crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Hmm? Oh. 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 It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Well, it can't be. Hey, D Dad. Who are you? Hey, you're you're Coops. Hey, son, you've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? Dad. I mean, golly, what, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But, just before finishing Blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then, <laughs> inside Hooktail's <laughs> belly. I haven't been digested or anything, but I'm fine. The shell's kind of damaged. <laughs> and boy, was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so glad I finally get out. <laughs> Honestly, Dad, I don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years, we all thought you were, you, you know, we, we thought your game was over. <laughs> oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Right? <laughs> hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Uh, I, I, oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been weaking, wreaking havoc in town. So I got a bit of a list. And, and Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Ah, Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? It's exactly what we're talking about. What's that? It's a Crystal Star, you dunce! <laughs> <laughs> I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I keep it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for? Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Me? Come now. I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops's friend. Please, take it. We got our first crystal star, dude! Hey! We got our first crystal star, dude! Ooh! You got a crystal star! And you learned the special move, Earth Tremor! <laughs> One of my personal favorites. And that's it! That's the end of the chapter! Awesome! End of 
Shut up! Oh, damn. Now we get a little recap of the story. We're going places. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet, they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Save all game progress up to this point. And that is it for this episode. We will all have right. to continue our adventures in the next episode. So, before we wrap things up here, do you have anything to add, Jake? You know, I'd say at least this is like the perfect place to leave it off. So I don't have any quirky comeback. But I would say talk about the boss fight, but we're going over time now. <laughs> it was fun. Pretty cool. Glad I had the cricket. I liked its jokes. <laughs>